Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well guess what? It's time for another movie review slash my thoughts and opinions and I hope you're ready for it. Haven't done one of these in a little while and I just watched a movie today and I thought that I needed to get this one out there. I think it's kind of flying under the radar. <clears throat> It doesn't have great reviews uh, that I noticed. Uh, however, my thoughts and opinions might differ. Let's find out. As you all know, I don't remember all the details and all the things I want to say about movie reviews and all these different things. So I do have my handy dandy trusty notebook here. Okay? And that's what we're going to be reading off of today. That's the way we do it here. So let's get down to work. The movie is called Thriller. It's from 2018. No, this doesn't star Michael Jackson. No, there isn't a great dance monologue. Should I cut that out? Eh, we'll go with it. This is sort of your crime, drama, horror kind of genre of a movie. <clears throat> now I do have the cast wrote down and for the most part I can pronounce all their names uh, you know that that's a big problem with me I'm horrible with names and that's just the way it goes but most of these I can kind of get out and I really did go ahead and write down like pretty much the whole cast uh, because I feel like uh, they all deserved a little bit of a shout out uh, I think this movie is kind of under the radar, and I want to give them all a little bit of a shout out in their just do's. So let's do that. We have Jessica Alling, Alain as Lisa Walker, Luke Tenney as Derek Jackson, Mitchell Edwards as Ty Reynolds. We have Paige Hurd as Gina Brown. We have Chelsea Rendon, Rendon as Tiffany Rodriguez. We have Taquan Richmond as Andre Dixon. We have Pepe Sanuga as Kim Morris. We have Jason Woods as Chauncey Page. We have Maestro Harrell as Ronnie DeBerry. I'm pretty close on those. We have McKelty, maybe, uh, something like that, Williamson as Detective Raymond Johnson. We have Michael Acampo as Eddie Gomez. Uh, we have RZA. He plays Principal Hurd. We have Chauncey Jenkins as Unique. And we have Valerie Ortiz as Miss Cruz. <clears throat> so here we go, guys. The story slash, if you want to sound important, plot synopsis. A group of kids decide to play a prank on one of the neighborhood kids. Unfortunately, it all goes wrong with a horrible accident. Many years later, this prank will come back to haunt them. We've all had that happen. Here we go, guys. My thoughts, my opinions. Now, as you know, I'm not a great movie reviewer. If you go back and you look at all my movie reviews, I'm not great. I like to say more, just kind of give my thoughts and opinions on kind of a stupid level. I'm kind of, I'm not a great reviewer, so eh, I do my best. So let's go. I've seen this movie on Netflix for a while now. It just didn't look interesting. But I finally gave in and watched it. Overall, I'm quite pleased. There's a big cast of characters. Each character is relatable to real life people we all probably know. And some of us probably are or were at some point. Overall, the story isn't totally new, but what is? But I found myself interested enough 
that I was looking forward to the next scene. Plus, guys, girls, there's some nice eye candy in there. Some lovely girls to help keep your eyes focused on the movie. On the movie. <laughs> uh. Anyway, seriously though, I can't say I was prepared for the ending. It was really a surprise, and I like that. And that's without giving too much away. Don't want to give too much away, guys. Alright, we're just going to break down a couple of categories. One is like characters and their acting, uh, cinematography, mood, atmosphere, that type of stuff. So as far as the characters and their acting, the characters are all different and good overall. They do well enough at acting and playing each of the unique roles. Uh, they're all about even. None of them totally uh, really stood out. Uh, I think they all pretty much did a, a pretty even and decent job at what they brought. As far as the cinematography goes, I feel it was well done. Uh, there were some good moments, and overall, uh, it was very constant and consistent. Uh, there was actually some real thought and effort put into this. Um, there are some nice moments, and, uh, and, 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 and some of the uh, moments, I'll just leave it at that, because I don't want to get too much away, but I, I felt like it was kind of cool, and, and some other moments might have cut away too quickly or this, that, but overall, it was, it was done really well, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I'm sure this wasn't a huge budget movie and and all that and so you know I, I feel I feel I did a pretty good job. As far as the mood and atmosphere, thanks Dave McCray. And if you watch his channel, you know what I'm talking about. There's plenty of this. There's a lot of night shots and some and some decent lighting and and uh, and some uh, really cool you know moments where you got to kind of pay attention. Uh, the main character really utilizes this, uh, utilizes this, this, you know what I'm saying. He utilizes, uh, the darkness and, uh, the atmosphere, and it does create a, a, a creepy and, uh, menacing mood. So, uh, I, I really enjoyed, uh, what it brought, in, in my opinion. Um, and the music, uh, musical score... Uh, it was okay. Nothing totally stood out to me as crazy. Uh, so that, to me, in my opinion, kind of means that it blends in and just, and uh, it, it did its job for the most part. Nothing really stood out. You know, we're not talking Indiana Jones or Star Wars here, or Rocky, Back to the Future. You know, we're not talking about Jurassic Park and stuff like that, that that's got these uh, amazing soundtracks and uh, musical scores and all that. We're just talking about your simple, basic, run-of-the-mill movie of this sort. I think it did its job. All right, now kind of, uh, I want to do a, a story character a kind of side note here. What I liked about the story was it gave us urban kids that mostly seem to want to get out and better themselves, which I liked and I think should be done and portrayed uh, more frequently in these types of movies. Now what you're going to notice is uh, for the most part this is a, a black uh, cast. Uh, there, there's just, there's not a whole lot of diversity in there and uh, a lot of times those movies can kind of come off and go the wrong way. Uh, a lot of times uh, cliche or uh, whatever you want to call it. So uh, really overall though most of the characters to me it seemed like uh, had a good plan and they wanted to do something to get out of the hood and uh, and better themselves and get away from all that so that part I really enjoyed I like seeing something different like that now uh, that's pretty much it on Thriller from 2018 um, as far as my score goes I'm probably gonna give it a higher score than what uh, you're gonna find elsewhere online I really don't care about what other people say or think of movies and all that. And you probably don't either, which is you're probably thinking, well, why am I watching this? Well, I think I'm a little more, uh, a little more open and, and uh, uh, open and uh, not so picky and harsh about movies as 
most of your critics are going to be. I take them for what they are. I don't always see all the faults and all the plot holes and all the mistakes and all these different things. So I think that's what makes me a little different. I'm just a normal, average, everyday guy who sits there and tries to keep up with what's going on. And I take it for what it is for the most part. So for me, uh, guys, if I have to give this one a score from 0 to 5, 0 being 5 being alright. For this movie, and for me being surprised as I was, and, and happy to see it uh, kind of take some twists and turns and do something a little different, and at the end of the day with the characters that I felt, you know, had a goal in mind, you know, after school and, and, and to better themselves and all that, I enjoyed that. I'm going to give this, I'm going to have to give it a solid, let's say, let's give this movie a solid... 3.8 out of 5. I don't know if I've given a movie that kind of a weird score or not. It's not quite a 4. And we're not, talk we're not talking on a scale of the movies I mentioned before. Indiana Jones, Star Wars, Rocky, Jurassic Park. We're not talking on a scale like that. We're talking about for this type of movie, this type of genre, this type of budget, these type of actors this type of movie that is coming off to me here okay so I, I don't grade it in in retrospective if that's what I'm looking for ah, I'm not a scholar guys I'm not comparing it to great classic movies like that whenever I give it a score like this so even if I gave this a four out of five it's not in the same ballpark it's just per genre per how I feel the year that we're in, how many movies like this have we seen, etc., etc. So, long-winded, and I apologize for that, but I want to get that out there. I'm going to give this movie a 3.8 out of 5. I think that's fair. It could have been better, it could have been worse, but I was pleasantly surprised. So guys, that's my little movie review, my little thoughts and opinions on this movie. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy all my other videos. Go check them out. I do have some playlists in there, but I also have tons of other videos that are not in playlists. Uh, go check them out. I do all this for free. All this for fun. Why? Because I enjoy it. It keeps me busy up here, in here, and it gives me a creative outlet to give you something to watch and enjoy, I hope. All right. I'm out of here. Don't forget. Get up. Get out. Get rad. Do it to it. Even... In a crazy, quarantined, virus-infected, infested, crazy world that we're living in right now. Everyone stay safe. Think of everyone else. Think of others. Because not everyone out there is super strong and super immune to everything like you might be. So always think of others. We'll see y'all later. Now go watch that movie, alright? See ya.